Hello, hey everybody. So, as you can see from the title, I am going to be doing some faux locks. Um, it's been probably about a year and a half or two years since I did these last. <clears throat> the last time that I did these, I did them with yarn. I'll put that in here. In here. And then the time before that, um, I did them really big and bulky, so I didn't have as many to do. It didn't take me but a couple hours to do that. Fortunately, I don't have any photos of that because I did it for just a weekend. And the very first time I did that, I did them with, um, the inside was yarn. Yeah, the inside was yarn. And then the outside I did with kinky twist hair. Um, and I'll insert a photo of that for you as well. So, um, the first time that I did them, I absolutely loved them. I was like, I'm going to do this style all the time. But it took me 24 hours to complete that style. Because um, <laughs> I actually wore um, the yarn braids with partial them done and then my actual hair still out and a little pompadour. I'll insert pictures of that as well. And then I had to finish doing all of the yarn braids. And um, then I had to wrap them all. And then I had a little mishap with the wrapping because I didn't do it tightly enough. And yeah, there were some malfunctions. But that was like three years, three or four years ago when I did that. So I've not done these in at least a year, year and a half. Um, and I thought it was time to do some again because um, I don't want to do braids and I don't want to do twists. If I do twists, I'll do Havana twists. But um, when I buy some, some Havana twist hair I, I want to buy brand new hair because I've got lots of kinky twist hair but what I have I don't like it's too dry and coarse and it dries my hair out and um, I, I'm not fond of it I'll actually show you what it is it's the uh, finger comb hair Havana hair so I bought four packs of this crap um, and <laughs> this is my way of being able to get rid of it is using it for these faux locks um, as you can see I've still got one in its package. The rest of them are in this recyclable um, Walmart bag. So I've got a mix of the Havana hair which is extremely dry. Can you hear that? And then I've got this color 3 hair which is extremely dry as well but I like the color of that. But with Natural 85's method you actually twist your own hair in, your, in two strand twists and then towards the end of your hair you add in um, however much synthetic hair that you want for length instead of putting it up here and braiding it or twisting it all the way in your hair and what it does is it gives you a more lightweight effect um, and it gives you a more pliable effect because when you do install the faux locks at first they are very stiff they don't have a whole lot of pliability that's one a bit of castor oil to seal. And twist. Time for me to take this makeup off. Okay. It's very thin in the front. It's a big section, but my hair is very fine. So some hair, put that up quite a ways because I'll be braiding it in, and you don't want to put it for fine hair anyway, you don't want to put it down here on your, your um, very very fine ends because when it's time to take it out it'll be really hard to try and find it, you end up probably damaging your ends. Okay. okay, so I've braided it about an inch and a half, and then my hair is still out here. That's really long. 
So, let's see how long this one is. Okay, so now all the twists are done. So now all I need to do is go look in the mirror and see if I want to cut them in like a U shape or I want to cut them straight across. And then I'll begin to wrap them. Hello! <laughs> so I finished my faux locks. Actually, I finished them yesterday, but I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't film it. And I also did not film the very last wrap that I was supposed to be doing. So I apologize for that. Um, there may be a couple that I'll have to redo. Um, because when you wrap it, you need to make sure that you push it up so that they're tight. So this is one that probably will need to be redone. But um, they are finished. much lighter than any of the other times that I've done this um, however I need to keep an eye on these three here because they are pulling on very little hair because there's not very much hair of mine inside of those but they're done so I'm getting ready to go to the salon and I'm gonna do this dumb little hairstyle that I hate seeing everybody else wear but it'll keep the tension off of these right here I really like them down. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely hate seeing this people wear this hairstyle. But the tension is off those three in the front. I will see you guys later for the takedown. All right. It's time for a takedown. So how long did I wear them for? I think 11 days. <laughs> or 12 days, maybe. Okay, so I put them in on a Sunday slash Monday. So I'm going to count that as Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've had them in for 11 days. They got to come out. Um, I had them all up in this awesome bun yesterday. It was really cute and it made my head hurt so bad. Um, and I'm really concerned about the tension on this one here. Um, I saw a lot of bulbs of hair. Um, some of it is dandruff. But I don't even want to risk the chance that some of that is not bulbs and it's just dandruff. I want them to be out. So, I mean, some of them have already started to unravel a little bit. So, it's time for them to go. So, I thought, hey, why not? So, cut off the very end there. Start to unravel it. There's my hair, and that's where the extension is attached. Use a metal comb, metal rat tail, 
here's my hair right here. Go ahead and undo that little baby braid. My hair is still very, got a lot of slip in it from that, um, the castor oil. There's my hair. So, that is what I'll be doing. <laughs> I will come back to you when they are all out. <laughs> Alright, so this is, this is my hair taken down. Very thin and fine as usual. Yeah, that's that's crazy to have all that and to have so little hair in comparison. It, it's just it's crazy. Now, <laughs> the mistake that I also made when I did that was I did faux locks with yarn, and in the same area that I have the problem with this time, I had a problem with last time. So this area right here, which you can see, this whole little shiny area right here, this whole little thin area. When I took the faux locks out um, both times, I had a lot of unnecessary shedding there. Not breakage, the whole bulb came out. So this whole area right here needs to be rehabbed. But this is my problem area. That is where my hair is the thinnest and finest. And it's just, it's just not good. So I'm going to have to come up with another solution for if I decide to wear faux locks again, what am I going to do with this front section? Because it clearly cannot handle the tension and the weight of um, extension hair. It's just not going to. Also, what I'm going to be doing, which I did a couple years ago and it worked just well too, was I bought this <laughs> huge 32 fluid ounce of castor oil. And I will be... I'm not going to say I'm going to do it daily because I'm just going to be honest, you guys, I am doing really, really good to remember to take my vitamins every day. Um, especially now that I've added more to my repertoire, <laughs> which I will tell you a little bit more about in the next section of this video. Um, but castor oil has always worked for me very well, even though my hair is fine. My hair loves heavy oils. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Um... Now, I don't know throughout my whole head if I'll be doing it, but what I definitely want to do is massage it every day in this section here, on these puppies here, <laughs> and in this back section of my hair right here, where my hair is either non-existent or very fine. Now, I've always thought that there was just no hair right here, um, but recently since I haven't been wearing my wigs as much, um, I'm either wearing a ball cap or wearing my hair down in a very simple style. Not like this. This is just because I just blew my hair out earlier, like a couple hours ago. Um, but y'all, I don't like all this little this little fuzziness and stuff going on. And I don't like my scalp showing in this little section. But, um, yeah, there's this little section of hair. Well, this little section of neck that I thought didn't no hair grow here. And one of the girls who commented on one of my videos before said that perhaps it was the wigs rubbing there because that's the problem she had had and I was like no I ain't it <laughs> my wigs are rubbing right there because this side of my neck seems to be doing fine but this one isn't and I honestly do think that this side is just very thin and the hairline starts different but we'll, we'll just have to see over time by every day <laughs> putting some castor oil on it and massaging it along with this front part here and my eyebrows um...